Okay, guys, how to report a Google review. This comes up quite often because people are looking at their Google business profiles, they're chasing reviews, they're aware of how important they are. However, sometimes you get a review which is simply not real. So it's somebody who's never done business with you or it's grossly unfair or whatever. But let's pretend aside from the grossly unfair ones, it's simply somebody who's never done business with you. Now, this came to light again this week for this client of ours. So I had to walk the client through what to do to report it. And people don't know this. Uh, however, it's really simple. Now, keep in mind this may or may not work sometimes it does work i reported this one i've been around google for quite some time so i've kind of got a feeling that experienced google users have more weight on this the client also reported it and i suspect a person or two in their circle reported it as well so google sees this come up and goes oh wow this is happening quite often with this person we better do something about this review because it's against our terms and conditions this google user has left a review which is not actually real so we need to delete it keep in mind that it might not work uh, sometimes it just doesn't work so you need to uh, put on your great communication skills and reply to that review in a what i call non-snarky way and just say something along the lines of really sorry we can't find you on our database we'd love it if you could reach out so we could discuss this matter fully but we don't actually know who you are, something along those lines. But here's what you do. So the best way to report a Google review is go to Google Maps. You'll see I've got Google Maps open at the moment. Go up to here and search for the business. And once you find it, you'll get something like this. Now you've got overview, reviews and about. Just click on the reviews. Now this actually worked for this client. We reported this one three days ago from recording time and it's now gone. It was a one-star review, which has gone into cyberspace. So that's really good for this client. It's, it's worked out. But what you do is you get yourself. This is, this is what you will see and or people doing it for you. Click reviews, roll down to the appropriate review, and you'll see the three little buttons just here. So click on the three little buttons and you'll get this flag as inappropriate so you click that button right there and it opens up and move my talking head out of the way opens up a bunch of stuff so you need to work through this and think of which one is most important or most appropriate and click that and follow through the process i'm not going to do that now because i don't want to flag this one in real but that's what you do so that might be uh, not helpful or or a spam conflict of interest if it's somebody who maybe worked for the business and has a bit of an axe to grind uh, that sort of thing so we think that spam is probably the one to go for because it's a fake account quite often that somebody's created to do a bit of a get back or it's somebody uh, working for another business trying to get your google business profile to become less prominent so that's the process it's pretty simple and then the last part of the game is that once you've clicked there gone through the process it takes a bit of time so you might have to sit on your hands and wait uh, however sometimes they get taken away really fast which would be great for you but if not then uh, wait a few days if nothing's happened go back and maybe ask a few colleagues to do the same thing as well because if it really is a person who's never done business with you then according to Google's terms and conditions, it just shouldn't be there. And it does happen. I've seen it quite often. In fact, every week, somewhere on Facebook that I'm around in different groups, people will ask that question. So it really is as easy as go to Google Maps, search for the business, click on reviews, find the appropriate review and off to the races. Hopefully that's helpful. All the best. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.